look who I've got here. This is for the giveaway. Here's my little dog, Dog Bubby. Sadie. I Sadie Dog Bubby. Well, anyway, all you have to do is be subscribed and comment on this video, and I'll pick, pick a random winner out of the comments for this grooved axe and these two arrowheads. And uh, these are the items this month. Um, they're really nice. Um, there'll be a third lot too, so thanks for watching. This is a good one. It's just absolutely beautiful. The, the groove's real deep. It's three-quarter groove and the groove's all polished. It's a nice one. It's from Central Ohio. I purchased this off a dealer and it's a nice one. You know, that's $150 axe. That's the first item this month. Second lot of items is gonna be this beautiful Flint Ridge Kirk from around Columbus and a beautiful pentagonal. You can see the spurs on it. It's a dandy. And there's gonna be a third lot for a bottle or something that I have not yet determined. It's just gonna be a mystery lot. I just decided to do a mystery. So it's gonna probably be like a, a box of bottles or just whatever I feel like. But here we go, folks. Whoever wins these items here is going to be lucky because these points are dandies. They're classic Ohio points. This is a Kirk stem bifurcated, and this is a pentagonal knife. Wow, folks. Well, I hope you enjoy this because I'd like to win either one of these things. And, and good luck to everyone. And all you have to do is comment, like I said, and be subscribed. And it'll. Back out on the dump. Um, I think it's Monday today. I don't know. Tuesday, Tuesday probably. But right there, as I see that Art Deco soda. Looks like one of them sisters good ones. Hopefully, it says Coke in the middle. Oh, it's broke. It's unembossed in the middle. Really, so it doesn't matter. On to some good layers after I get down to them. Um, right here is an acro agate. I found one of these before down the hill on the same dump. Acro agate. You can see it's made out of marble glass. It's a children's teacup. And I got a marble. It raked out right with it. Oh man, check it out. Another one. Another beautiful swirl. Let me get it wiped off. These must, there must be a pile of acro stuff right here all thrown away together. There's an acro marble. It's a corkscrew and it's like got beautiful coloring look at it wow it's perfect condition too and this great finds later i saw a coin too yeah i did right there's a coin i thought i saw a coin and that might be an indian and right here's an old marble too man there's a bunch of coins on this dump i should sift look at this wall and the bottles i'll rake for a few minutes but right here's another nice marble oh it's one of them clear base ones and that it's a coin. And it's a, I can see one cent. It's a uh, wheat penny. A oh, wheat penny. And heck, what the? And I thought it looked like it was hold for a minute. But let me wipe off this marble and I'll get back. This is nice, another nice marble. <laughs> I think these marbles right here are acro agates. And most of these marbles and stuff, how I do it is I look at a bunch of books and kind of edu educate myself on it a little, what I need to know, and then I uh, do it by eye. I know by looking at this, it's pretty good. It's clear base, it's old. It's probably about the same age as that penny. I'd say, you know, 30s, 40s. It's just nice. It's got like an amber base to it. Wow. Well, anyway, a couple more finds. Later, baby. All right. See that marble way back in there? I'm going to have to get my shovel here. Get this one. It's too far to reach in there. 
I'm trying to reek this back out and I saw one roll out of the side. Um, I'll have to probably flip it up like that. If I see it back in there, I can get it. It's one of these green and white swirls. These beautiful ones. Um, let's see here, I think it's on. I thought it was right in there. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I didn't get it. it. Must still be back in there. I see it. It is. Daggone it. Must have fell off right there at the end. I got it. One of these clear basements. Let me weep it off here real quick. All right, another beauty. Look at that. It's all clear. You can see in there. I think these are accurate agates. Later. Oh, that's a cool find. I thought that was just a big slick wine bottle pulled out, and it's screw top, but it's still a Virginia Dare Garrett and Sons. Them are all embossed up. That's a cool bottle. Sort of three or four bucks, five bucks anyway. And when I get down into that loose ash. Bottles just start coming right up. Look at this old blue one. There's up multiple other blue ones over there. I'm finding all kinds of cool bottles, but just nothing spectacular. But I will. I'll find something in here. I've already got nice marbles. All right, I moved. I was over there. Now I'm over here. And I found a Crocs about right in there. So I thought I'd come up here and work this off and look here. This looks pretty good. All right, it's dropped out. And look how just... This is an older one. Looks like it has a number nine or six dropped L ball and it's just emerald green. That's a nice find. Look at that. Wow. Laid a straight off here. I just got that soda right here. It's a Sisterville, like 1940s or 30s soda. Right here's a cake sticking out. There's lots of bottles in here. Look at that. It's break. But there's a nice cake. Um, this one's Wheeling, I think. It is. Wheeling, West Virginia. See, there's another front. I'll get back when I see something later. All right, I'm going to round up what I'm going to take here today. I didn't find as much today. I'm getting this place hammered. I might go to the other dump on the next trip. I didn't find enough today. I did for the most part, but I want to put on a good video. Found some select milks and stuff over there. I didn't film them. Got out this whole pile of stuff. There's some decent stuff in here. A few bottles to take. Look at that plastic gun. But nothing spectacular. I got a few things over here by my bag and some back bottles here I'm going to take. Um, there's a nice blue one. Little one. Um, but you'll see clips tomorrow too on here. So after this... I might put Squirrel Man on or something. And Happy New Year, everybody. I won't put on a video tonight. But, you know, I got some decent stuff, but not enough to put on a real awesome video. Try to find something cool tomorrow. I got some marbles out, and I'll put them in that frame from December, since it's still December, the last day. And uh, there we go. Later.